adjustment meeting Monday, July 26, 2021. I hereby declare this meeting of the Howell Township Zoning Board to be open. Adequate notice having been given pursuant to the New Jersey Open Public Meeting Act in the following manner. First, on December 10, 2020, a copy of said notice was mailed to the Asbury Park Press and the Tritown News. Second, on December 29, 2020, a copy of said notice was hand delivered to the clerk of the Township of Powell. Third, on December 29, 2020, said notice was posted in the office of the zoning board and on the bulletin board in the Howell Township Municipal Building, 4567 Route 9, Howell Township, New Jersey. Please take note that this meeting is being videotaped for possible future broadcast on Howell Township TV 77. This meeting is a judicial proceeding. Any questions or comments must be limited to the issues of what the board may legally consider in reaching their decision and the decorum appropriate to a judicial hearing must be maintained at all times. For any members of the public wishing to ask questions or comments on an application, you will need to use the raise your hand feature when the chairman opens the hearing up for members of the public. Once you are brought into the meeting, you will need to have both audio and video and you will be sworn in and required to give your name and address. If you're calling in, you will use star nine to raise your hand, star nine to put your hand back down. You use star six to mute and unmute yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Eileen. Can, can we have a roll call, please? Yes, I, mean, I think we just lost Mr. Sayo. Yeah, Here. I hope he calls back in. Mr. Cantor? Here. Mr. Hughes? Here. Mr. Mertens? Rich, you're muted. I'm here. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. Thank you. Mr. Moretti? I have not seen or heard from Mr. Moretti. Mr. Saya is coming back in, so we'll give him a second. Or I'll come back to him. Mr. Stanton, I have not heard from. Yes, Paul. Mr. Saya? Rose again, Paul. Stay here, Mr. Saya. He, he's froze. Yeah. Must be cold there. Mr. Freeze got him. <laughs> Must be cold. It's all those windows. <laughs> Paul, do you want to call in? Yeah. Somebody on the, on the I, network. Oh, there he is. We got you, Paul. We're calling the attendance. Just say here. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Gonzalez. Here. And Chairman Nansen. Here. You have a quorum. Thank you. Thank you. Can we all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, Republic for which it stands, one nation, one God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Mr. Copley, you mind swearing in the professionals, please? Sure, with the professionals, please raise the right hand. You swear the testimony you'll give this evening will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I help you, God. I do. I do. Thank you. So this evening we have Mr. Conliffe, Ms. Bell, and Mr. Aguiar. And um, Eileen, can we confirm that uh, Mr. Saya is on the call? He appears to be frozen. It may be beneficial. It looks yeah. like he's gone again. Perhaps he could just call in. Mm -hmm. um, Let me see if I can get a hold of him. Thank you. Birds. Just give me one second. Yes, ma'am. Take take your time.
Paul, if you freeze again, you can try calling in. You there? He's not. Uh, he's not unmuting though. Oh, yeah, there he is. Can yeah. you give me a? Can you give me a number? Yeah. You ready? Yep. One nine two nine. Wait. Wait. One nine two nine. Go ahead. Two o five. Two o five. Six zero nine nine. Six zero nine nine. Your meeting ID, followed Mr. Say, you might have to mute yourself and turn your speakers off on your computer, otherwise you might get feedback. You have not entered any numbers. Please re-enter your meeting All right, ID what are the numbers? 944 536 Please re-enter your meeting ID, followed by pound. 1088 You entered 3, 3, 3. Three. This meeting ID does not exist. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to try it like we are for now? Read this thing. The, the meeting ID is that nine four four number. Right. Uh, on the agenda. It's got um, eight, eleven, eleven digits. Annie? Yes. Can I? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Hold on. Okay. Uh, nothing. I don't need you. One second. 944. Five, three, six, two, one, zero, eight, eight. That's what I did. I called it. And four threes for the passcode. One, nine, four, four, five, three, six, two, one, zero. No, 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 that's not the phone number. Eight, eight. There's no one. The phone number is that 929 number. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Your connection seems fine right now if you want to just stay like you are. I think Paul might have turned us down. Can you hear us, Paul? <laughs> he unmuted us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He muted us. He's I'm sick of those. And he, I think you gotta stay away from me because I'm getting muted. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Paul, if you lose us, just call in. But we'll, we'll move forward right now. And then if, if you freeze up and lose us, just call in and then we'll, we'll do it via the phone there. The last number I sent you was the phone number, 12929. That's the phone number. I don't know if he can hear us, Wendell. Yeah. Not if you can hear us, Paul.
You want to just start, Wendell? Yeah, we, we'll go ahead. Um, we already did the let's Paul, just unmute mute yourself. Put your speaker back on and unmute yourself. I don't think you can hear us. Somebody's need to make a sign. Volume up. Oh, got it. He's got it. One <laughs> likes that. Okay. He's here. We're good. <laughs> He's smiling at us. <laughs> Technology never works when you need it to. <laughs> hey, Paul. You, 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 you know, <laughs> there you are. I, I just never had such an issue with, uh, with connectivity, and it's, um, it seems like you know they just, they were exclusive to our town, and we don't have an alternative, right? Frankly, that's why I went to Fios, honestly. I can't get it in the neighborhood. Yeah. Some of us don't even get Fios. It's just one, one cable provider. Yeah, Paul, do you have a hotspot? Yeah, I could probably do that next. Um, You're all right for now, though. So. Yeah, let's, let's move forward then. Well, okay. let's hope they fixed it. Yeah. Okay, approval of minutes. Regular meeting, June 28, 2021. Eligible voters, Cantor, Merton, Sorosco, Say, and Nansen. Do I have a motion? motion? Chairman, I make a motion to move it. Motion by Mr. Saya. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Mr. Mertens. Can we have a roll call, please? Mr. Cantor? Yes. Mr. Mertens? Yes. Mr. Saya? Yes. Chairman Nansen? Yes. Thank you. Regular meeting, July 12, 2021. Eligible voters, Cantor, Hughes, Martins, Moretti, Stanton, Gonzalez, and Nancy. Do I have a motion? I'll make that motion, sir. Motion by Mr. Hughes. Do I have a second? Second, Cantor. Seconded by Mr. Cantor. Can we have a roll call, please? Mr. Cantor? Yes. Mr. Hughes? Yes. Mr. Martins? Yes. Mr. Gonzalez? Yes. And Chairman Nansen? Yes. Motion carries. Vouchers? I have no vouchers. Correspondence? I have no correspondence, but we should make an announcement for members of the public that the application of Walter Miller, which is second on the agenda for this evening, will be rescheduled to August 9th as his notice was deficient. So they will be re-noticing for that one. Okay. Uh, case number BA2111, Walter Miller. This case will be adjourned. Well, not necessarily adjourned, but it will be rescheduled to August what? August 9th. 9th. Next meeting. August 9th. And that's all I have. Okay. Okay, resolutions. Case number BA2101, SD, Rock Solid Realty. In Jake Court. Resolution granting use variance, bulk variance, preliminary and final major subdivision approval. Eligible voters Cantor, Hughes, Mertens, Moretti, Stanton, Gonzalez, and Nansen. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Mr. Mertens. I'll second that, sir. Second Hughes. by Mr. Hughes. Can we have a roll call, please? Mr. Cantor? Yes. Mr. Hughes? Yes. Mr. Mertens? Yes. Mr. Gonzalez? Yes. Chairman Nansen? Yes. Motion carries resolutions memorialized. Thank you. Case number DA2113, Bernard Gurney. Resolution granting bulk variance for a six foot high vinyl fence in the front yard. Eligible voters, Cantor, Hughes, Mertens, Moretti, Stanton, Gonzalez, Nansen. Do I have a motion? I'll make that motion, sir. Motion by Mr. Hughes. Do I have a second? I'll second that. 
Seconded by Ms. Cantor. Yes. Seconded by Mr. Cantor. Can we have a roll call, please? Mr. Cantor. Yes. Mr. Hughes. Yes. Mr. Mertens. Yes. Mr. Gonzalez. Yes. And Chairman Nansen. Yes. Motion carries resolutions memorialized. Thank you. Okay, applications before the board, case number BA 2112-272-LMR Holdings, LLC. Use variance, bulk variance for expansion of non-conforming use to install a commercial generator. Application of 272-LMR Holdings, LLC is applicant owner seeking a use variance, bulk variance approval to construct commercial generator at the southeast corner of the existing one-story commercial office building. The furthest space of the generator is more than five feet from the building, requiring bulk variance relief, and the propane, gen and the propane generator constitutes expansion of existing non-conforming commercial office use on the property requiring a variance approval on premises known as Block 20 26, Lot 44, 272 Lanes Mill Road. Expiration date, October 21st, 2021. Mr. Mr. Chairman, before we begin, I just want to confirm that we have Mr. Saya somewhere. Uh, Todd, yeah. I, I suppose you could see we're having a little difficulty tonight with Mr. Saya um, with regard to connectivity. With him connected, we have six members on a use variance, just pointing that out. Um, Eileen, can we confirm that is Mr. Saya? That is Mr. Saya. Mr. Saya, you need to press star six to unmute yourself. Can't get him to. I just sent him a text and. Paul, you need to press star six to unmute. I can't tell if he can hear me or not, Wendell. I, I can't either. He, he left. He's, he's yeah, gone. He left Mr. Chairman, if I may. Yes, sir. Um, Todd Cohen uh, for the applicant 272 LMR Holdings LLC. Uh, due to the simplicity of this application, the applicant would feel comfortable moving forward with five if it'll uh, get the proceedings going. Sure. Yep. So okay, once we, right, but once we start, of course, Mr. Sayo could not be a voting member. So. With that in mind, Todd, I, I have no objection. Mr. Chair, that would be the only caveat that the, Mr. Say would not be a poll tonight as a member. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, Todd, go right ahead. Thank you very much. Um, the application before you this evening is really simply for the installation of a commercial generator, but technically it's, gonna, it's an expansion of a pre-existing non-conforming use. In 2007, the site received the use variance uh, bulk variance and site plan approval to convert an existing warehouse and office building to strictly an office use with certain restrictions. My client has been an occupant, the sole occupant and sole tenant of the building since 2016, operates a commercial business known as Tech Check. So the addition of the generator has been determined to be an expansion of a pre existing non conforming use, and therefore it requires a D2 variant. Uh, the bulk variance that your professional cited before with regard to the distance the generator will be from the 
Foundation. Um, I, it will put on the record tonight that we can eliminate that and comply so we won't have to have the bulk variant situation. Okay. Uh, I have with me this evening, uh, Bill Kurtz, a professional engineer, Allison Coffin, a professional planner. Both have brief presentations this evening uh, so we can address the variants and the uh, items raised in uh, Charlie's letter. So okay. with that being said, if we could have Bill and Allison sworn, I'll have Bill testify first to lay the groundwork for the engineering stuff, and then Allison can clean up on the D2 variants. Okay, Allison and Bill, would you please raise your right hands? The sort of testimony you'll give this evening be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so you God. I do. I do. Right, and Allison, please state your name for the record. Allison Coffin. Thank you, and Bill, please. William Kirk. All sworn. Before Mr. we continue, I just want to show Mr. Saya is back on the call. Yes. He is in the Zoom meeting, so. Yes. Okay. Can you hear us, Mr. Testimony of Mr. Kurtz, then? Yeah. But if we just give us a moment, Todd. We looks like Mr. Saya may have froze again. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's not his usual expression, is it? <laughs> no. There he goes. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's his usual expression. Right. Yeah, Paul, have you heard everything so far? Yeah, I heard Mr. Todd, yes. Okay, because if you do cut out it, I think before we vote, I, I, we would just need an affirmation that you heard all the testimony, and I don't think it's going to be very extensive, so hang in there, buddy, okay? Roger, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Bill, if you'd be kind enough to just put your professional educational qualifications on the record as an engineer, please. Uh, my name is William Kurtz. I'm a professional engineer, land surveyor, licensed in the state of New Jersey and Delaware. Uh, I've been before the, the zoning board, although not recently, as well as the planning boards of Powell uh, and numerous other boards throughout Monmouth, Middlesex and Ocean County. Uh, I'm principal of the firm Kurtz Engineering. We're based in Wall Township and specialize in land development applications similar, similar to this. Uh, we accept his credentials. And he Thank you very much. Bill, Bill, could you just familiarize the board with the location of the property and the application that we have before them this evening? Sure. Um, it's it's a, a site that I worked on back in 2007. It's located on the south side of Lanes Mill Road. It's about 1,700 uh, feet east of Maxim Road. Uh, it's in the AR. E3 zone, uh, a residential zone, which is the, the reason we're here before the zoning board. Um, it's a commercial use operating in a residential community. Um, it's approximately six acres in size. It's all, all improvements are existing with the exception of this one improvement that's being proposed here tonight. A, it's a, a 48 kW generator being proposed on the back side of the building. Um, approximately 75 feet uh, from the, uh, I guess, easterly property line. And um, on the plan, it shows to be three feet off the back side of the building, but uh, due to your ordinance requirements, it's, that's going to be adjusted to meet the, uh, the conditions of your ordinance. So to back up my opening statement, we're gonna eliminate the bulk variance, correct? That's correct. I, I, I'm sorry, I can't add more to this application, but that's essentially the application. Um, uh, there were some uh, questions raised in Charlie's letter that we could maybe put some a testimony on the record so answer some of their questions. Um, sure. Just so you, the board knows, uh, Bill and I had the opportunity to speak to the installer of the generator today, which is gonna be Fortec Electric. Uh, so we, we got this information directly from the installer. Uh, as Bill mentioned, it's a 48 kW Generac uh, model, um, with, and it will be natural gas uh, that runs the generator. Uh, Bill, in, in item seven in Charlie's letter of May 19th, there's some questions regarding uh, section 188.19 of the ordinance. Uh, will the generator in fact comply with the applicable state and federal regulations? Yes, that, that would have to be uh, absolutely done. And after speaking with the installer today, Fortec, we are convinced that the generator will, in fact, uh, at 23 feet, be no louder than the maximum allowable 67 dBA. 
Yes, having you. spoken, having spoken with the uh, uh, installer and the uh, the supplier of the of the facility of the uh, unit, that's what they've indicated, correct? And the generator will comply, obviously, with the township noise ordinance. Uh, that is true too. Yes. And the testing is scheduled uh, just for once a week. I believe that's correct, and will comply with the testing regulation hours. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly the the uh, frequency of the testing, but it's at least once a month. I've heard, but maybe it is once a week in this particular size yeah, generator. That's what, they, that's what they told me. Uh, and it's also my understanding that we're going to provide landscaping around the generator, and we're going to do a detail and supply that for the engineer's approval. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Okay. Um, getting back to the. Um, Am I going to do the point slab? 2007 yes. application. You mentioned there was a previous right of way dedication, I believe, at the time. Yes, there was. Um, back in 2007, the board uh, requested a 25 foot half width. Um, it's my understanding, although I can't confirm that it's been filed, we can verify that certainly, but deeds have been, were prepared at that time uh, for filing for that dedication. Okay. Todd, so the master plan recommends 33 foot half width for um, Leans Mill Road. Would the applicant have an issue with providing the additional dedication just to get the 33 foot wide? Full another eight feet? Yeah. So I'm not, uh, sure why, 20, I'm not sure why they required 30, uh, 25 at the time. I can't say definitively why it was just 25 requested, um, but that's what it was requested to be. I mean, I don't think the applicant would have an issue with that. If you look yeah, at the I mean, frontage of the property, it's not, you know, none of the improvements yeah, are there. Yeah, I think it's something as a conditional approval is, is easy, Todd. And then just to, 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 to speed it along, Todd, so... Uh, you guys can provide a detail increase in the slab to four inches. We're talking about a half an inch. It's nothing major for the. Pad. I think we're actually going to go to six I, when I talk okay. to the installer. So the, I was going to put that on the record too, but you beat me to it. And then you guys can provide a spec sheet just for the 48 kilowatt generac, just showing the 67 max decibels, 27 feet, all that good stuff. You could be on the plan or just provide the spec sheet from the installer as condition of okay. straightforward. And then. Uh, I'll just note for the board's record, the Monmouth County Board of Health issued a uh, memo. They took no uh, objections to the application. The applicant shown the septic field on the site plan. Uh, looks like the, the generator is a considerable distance away from that. So there shouldn't be any impact from that perspective. The board also did grant a waiver of curb and sidewalk along the property frontage in the 2007. So I take no exception to the granting of it for this application. Uh, they already talked about the natural gas for the, for the generator. So uh, that's straightforward. Uh, the only question that I have, Todd, the other uh, restrictions on the 2007, so there was no medical, uh, no retail sales, no outdoor storage. Applicants continue to operate in accordance with those, correct? Absolutely. And that's all I have, Mr. Chair. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Chair, if there's no other questions of the witness um, at this time by the board, um, we would have Allison. Board. Any questions, Mr. Mr. Chairman? I have, a, I have a question. I got internet and I got a question. Um, you know, question is, is that a single phase or a three phase generator? And, um, you know, the conduit between the generator and the structure, is it, Charlie? How does that work? What are we looking at? So uh, as a condition of any approval, they're going to be required to get any municipal building and construction permits. So they'll have to submit, you know, an application package and, and get all electrical permits from the, from the engineering department in house at the, at the township. So that's something they would uh, review and make sure it's in accordance with all, you know, municipal and state regulations. Got it. That's all I got, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Anybody else? No. Okay. Okay, Mr. Cohen. Um, Allison, yep. if you would be kind enough to put your um, educational and professional qualifications on the record as a planner. Sure, I have a bachelor's degree from Boston College. I have a professional planner's license from the state of New Jersey, and I'm certified by the American Institute of Certified Planners, as uh, the board may remember from the other times I have appeared here. That has not changed. Absolutely. We, we know that, but for each individual piece, it, we have to do it. But 
<laughs> by the way. So I'm giving you the short version. Mr. Chairman, we're good to proceed then? Yes, sir. Thank you we very much. We just lost a board member. Oh, it's only Paul. <laughs> okay. Who is it? Mr. Mertens? Bruce, I'll call you back. Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, I'm here. Um, Allison, um, obviously you're familiar with the application and you've had an opportunity to review Jen Beam's letter of June 24th. Yes. Could you please put the uh, justification for the D2 variance on the record this evening? Sure. The property that we're looking at is located in the ARE3 Agricultural Rural Estate Zone. And the purpose of the zone is to minimize the impacts of development in areas located outside of the centers identified in the Township Master Plan. And the goals include preservation of rural and agricultural uses and preservation of rural character. Um, permitted uses are like agricultural and horticultural, single family residences, municipal uses, community residences, and multi-generational family. The existing office is a non-conforming use that exists by way of use variance approval that was conditioned on a single tenant occupancy and no medical office or resale, retail sales being permitted. And the installation of a generator on the site is a technical expansion of the use as it is a new structure on the property. Therefore, a D2 variance is, is being requested to expand this pre-existing use. It's my opinion that special reasons exist for the granting of the use variance and that the site uh, is, can accommodate the expansion of the use as proposed and that would result in no significant detriment to the zone plan or the surrounding residential properties. Um, when we're looking at the special reasons for a D2 variance, the New Jersey Supreme Court in its Burbridge versus the governing body of Mine Hill Township examined the criteria to be considered by the boards when we're looking at a D2. The court determined that when the special reasons concept is applied to the expansion of an existing non-conforming use, things such as appearance, aesthetics, compatibility of the use uh, with the surrounding neighborhood become significant, especially if there's no evidence that the use will be discontinued. In this case, however, the nature of the expansion is technical and due only to the installation of a generator, which will enhance the resiliency of this use in the event of power outages. The site plan therefore proposes to expand the use in a manner which improves its function and efficiency, and it can be granted without any detriment. The expansion in this case, the, the installation of a generator does not increase the commercial floor area, the number of employees, the size of the parking field, so it doesn't increase traffic or the hours of operation of the use. It results in no change to the aesthetics of the site because the generator is hidden around the back of the building. There will be a minor change possible to noise when the generator is tested and in the event it is used during outages, but the generator that's going to be installed will meet all requirements for decibel levels. And it's not, in my opinion, a significant detriment as it meets these requirements. And as this generator is proposed to be 75 feet from the nearest lot line and more than 170 feet from the nearest residence. So the variance in this case would not also would also not substantially impair the intent and purpose of the master plan and zoning ordinance. The office is a pre-existing non-conforming use. The expansion of the use uh, is minor and it improves its function in a manner that does not impair the zoning plan or does not increase any of the impacts of this use. So for those reasons, it's my opinion that the variance can be granted. It can be done so without detriment to the health, safety, and general welfare of the public. And the variance would result in the use of the site in a manner which is consistent and does not further impair the intent of your master plan and development ordinance. Thank you, Alice. You're welcome. Christine? Um, I agree with what um, Ms. Coffin said and just, uh, to elaborate on that on a bit, on that a bit, um, the installation of the gener generator will further the health, safety, and welfare of this uh, site by promoting resiliency and allowing for it to operate when there's power outages. Did it, Charlie? You have anything? Yeah, Mr. Chair, just one last clerical comment. So the uh, right of way dedication, uh, it's 240 feet of frontage by eight foot. I think that creates almost just a very de minimis uh, lot area. It's a six acre zone, so it would be at 5.99 after the right of way dedication. I take no exception to that. I think it's a de minimis condition. And I've just asked Ms. Coffin to just confirm that that changes nothing as far as her testimony with regarding the intensification of the use. I would agree. And I also agree that it's a de minimis change. That's all I have, Mr. Chair. Thank you. 
Any further, Christine? Nothing further. Okay, any questions from the board? No, sir. Okay. I'm good. Okay, Mr. Coleman, at this time. Kevin, that, that completes our testimony. I'm going to ask for a motion to open the public. I'll make that motion to open the public, Mr. Chair. Motion by Mr. Hughes. Do I have a second? I'll a second. second. Well, give it to Mr. Mertens. Mr. Burton, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, Eileen, at this time, we'll open the public for questions or comments to the witnesses. At this time, the chairman has opened the hearing up for members of the public to ask questions or comments on this application. Anyone wishing to do so, please use the raise your hand feature. If you're on the phone, you need to press star nine to raise your hand or press star six to unmute or mute yourself. As of right now, there is no one on the call other than Mr. Saya. And I have a motion to close public. Motion to close public. Motion by Mr. Hughes. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Ms. Mertens. Good night. Mr. Cantor. <laughs> okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Okay, Mr. Cohen. Chairman, uh, very simply, I would rely on the testimony presented this evening by our experts and request that the board grant this application for the installation of a generator based on the conditions agreed to this evening by the applicant. Okay. Mr. Chairman, before... Yeah, I'm going to ask um, Mr. Sam. Right. I, I had one question, if I may, Mr. Chair. Yes. Um, what Charlie was saying before, I just want to pick up on that. So is it my understanding that a lot area variance would be needed also with the eight-foot additional dedication of the right of way, Charlie, because it is no. a... No, it's, yes. a, it's 120,000 square foot uh, zone. We're at, we're twice that. It's, it's an area three zone. Three. I, I apologize. That was a, that was an error on my part. Yeah, so it's okay, a three no, acres. Okay, so no additional variance relief. I apologize. Report. I thought we were in ARE6 here. That's my not, not a problem. I just needed the clarification. All good. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Mr. Saya, uh, were you privy to all testimony? I caught most of it. You know, I did not hear the planner's complete testimony. I apologize. Okay. Then we're, we, we can do it without you, I believe. So, you know, Mr. Cohen, it's totally up to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. We can proceed. Okay. What's the pleasure of the board? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we grant the use variance that's been requested. Okay, got a motion by Mr. Cantor. Do I have a second? Mr. Chair, I'd like to just add to the list just to clarify, we had, you know, getting the spec sheet to Charlie. I know they talked about, you know, making the slab six inches, putting that in there, and of course that 33 foot right away um, addition there. I would like to second that motion. Okay. We have a motion by Mr. Cantor, seconded by Mr. Hughes. Can we have a roll call, please? Yes, you may. Mr. Cantor? Yes. Mr. Hughes? Yes. Mr. Mertens? Based on the testimony uh, put forth, I vote yes. Thank you. Mr. Gonzalez? Yes. And Chairman Nansen? Based on all testimony and also with, with the as built drawings at the whenever it's completed be sure and update the as built drawings and my vote is yes Motion thank you mr chairman thank, thank you everybody for the time this evening thank you, you very paul. much thank you paul thank you hopefully they'll get your your computer and your your connectivity worked out very soon I think uh, well, pretty soon for everybody, pretty soon the uh, Elon Musk uh, Starlink is starting to hit the world now. So that should help a lot of people to give a, an option at least. I have an order for know, it. So. You, know, you know, Wendell, I'm looking at the logs and the DHCP keeps failing on the ISP side of the house. And then if it's not that, it's the DNS, yeah. you know, so.
They've got multiple problems, and they tell me they're working on it, that the technicians are working on it. But, you know, it, it was good for a long period of time after they upgraded, but they've done something recently the last 10 days, and it's gone gone sideways. Yep. I can't oh, wait till we get back. Can't wait till we get back to live meetings. Yes, I. I, I One month. My my secret. Hey, Night, everybody. Okay. Night. You know, I, Todd. I I just want to remind the board. I I I know we got members out, but we need at our next meeting. I believe we have three six six Ramtown, correct? Yes, we do. And Mr. Hughes, Mr. Moretti, Mr. Stanton, and Mr. Gonzalez were all sent emails with links to the video and a copy of the transcript. They can watch or read. They don't have to do both. And I sent them the dates that they have to watch or read for. And I asked them to please let me know whether they certify so I can send them the form to sign. Yes, absolutely. Because yeah, they, it's going to be imperative that everybody that's not up to snuff, get up to snuff on that. It's going to be imperative because we're going to have to vote on it. And, you know, professionals are going to address the board also. So, yeah, that, that's just for a vote. It's not open to public again. It's just, no, it's for, just a donation for Mr. Pape and a vote. That's it. So, just be. I'm mo I mostly throw it just so that you all are, you know, confident. I mostly throw it. I read it all and I'm watching the videos now because I want to see more of it. But I'm, okay. I'm on the case. Okay. Well, Mr. Gonzalez is too, I'm sure. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. If, is there any further business of the board? I have nothing. I want to thank everybody for being here and I appreciate it. Thank you for, let's get another case off of the books. So, okay. Can we get a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. Motion by Mr. Sayer. Visible, <laughs> Mr. Sayer. Seconded by Mr. Hughes. All Second. in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank Good you. Night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good. Thank you. Take care, everyone. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye.